Hi guys, Proper English here, and today I'm going to show you something that's very special. It's a Kagi Stone Adder. Now, a Kagi Stone Adder is considered to be the fastest adder in real life. As you can see, it's pretty fast in Minecraft too. This is taking nine ticks to carry across all eight bits here, which is as fast as you can possibly get in Minecraft. Um, so, what makes a Kagi Stone Adder that fast? Well. The normal adders that you think of uh, when you think of an adder are probably ripple carry adders. And what that means is that the carry is calculated alongside the sum. And that makes it slow because you have to sort of ripple, ripple across the adder. With a Kagi Stone adder, uh, what's going on is you are calculating the carry um, actually before the sum is even figured out. and um, and that allows you to get a very, very fast uh, addition because you're, you're kind of powering through the whole process. So uh, let me show you that this is actually an adder and do some addition. So let's toss a lever on here. And I think we'll do 15 plus 7. So uh, let's set that up. Turn a couple of these guys on. And turn a couple of these guys off. And oh, we need one more on here. So now we've got 15, so you see the 1, 1, 1, 1, and 7, so 0, 1, 1, and 1. Uh, so that should be 22. And what do we see? We see uh, the 2 bit is on, the 4 bit is on, and the 16 bit is on, so 22. And that's all done in 9 ticks. Now, there are faster adders in Minecraft, specifically the Instacarry adders, and those are also much more compact than this. But I wanted to build one of these because I think the logic is absolutely fantastic. Um, and I'm not going to really go into that too much in this video, or at all. Uh, this is more to showcase you know, what it is and, and how awesome it is. But I will be breaking this down in, in future videos and showing you exactly how a Kagi Stone Adder works. Uh, I hope you appreciate this as much as I do because the logic here is absolutely beautiful and I think it's fantastic that you can you can implement this kind of stuff in Minecraft using Redstone. Thanks for watching and I hope you're looking forward to, to uh, learning how this actually works.